Okay, this is going to be a quick um, snatch analysis of Andrea, a friend of LC. Um, the first thing I want to do is point out, Andrea, that um, your feet are in a really good position. That looks really, really good. And I also like the way you have your knees pushed out. Um, that's exactly right. So that looks really, really good. Your back looks like it's in a good position. Your head's in a good place. Um, your snatch grip, I'll have to check that when we get together to see, check the width, but it looks like it's nice and wide where I'd want it. Um, the first trouble you get into is when you come off the ground, you'll see that um, when the bar comes off the ground, um, your butt comes up and the bar comes up, but your shoulders don't move much. Okay? Um, so we got to get that fixed. Take a look at your back angle here. Um, that's not that great, but it'll do. Let's see. Your back angle is kind of like that. And then by the time you get to your knees, you can see that your back angle has changed significantly. So we got to get that fixed. Um, the next thing that happens, because the back angle's changed, you have a large angle here between your torso and your legs. And so you've got to overcome that, and you overcome that by swinging your hips way out. Boom. Now, here you are. You've just whacked the bar with your hips. As somebody taught you, it's not your fault. Um, somebody told you to do that. Um, and contact is good, but you got to have it the right way. And you've got this, a really a big layback here. Um, and you're, you've kind of thrown your head. Um, down you go. And you catch it. And you appear to be a young, fit woman. I'm not sure why you half squat here, but we'll fix that so that you can get a better squat position. Maybe your knees are, um, have been injured and have had surgery or something, but that's a half squat. And if you're going to squat snatch, then we need to get your um, position lower. So up you come, and then you'll see it on this second rep. You're a little bit more fatigued, and so the problems are a little bit more exacerbated. When you come off the ground on the second rep, you can see your butt comes way up. Now your back angle is just like almost flat, um, and that's just not too good. Again, here you've, now your back angle is pretty much flat. And because of that, you have a really big hip throw. Boom. And now you can see the arc is pretty significant. Um, and there you go, you're catching the bar. You see, here's something that's interesting that you're going to appreciate. Um, if we take a look, we can draw a line here. That's how high the bar is. Now, if you stand up, uh, I'll get you through here. If you stand up, boom, you threw that bar high, as high as your mouth. Well, I'm going to teach you that you really only need to get the bar about to here. And so all that extra is just extra. You're going to get some bar, um, some momentum to carry it up, but you, you're way um, getting that bar way high, um, which means you can do a lot more weight. Um, and once we get you getting into the bar, then um, then you're going to be, you know, you're catching, you're catching here, really. You're catching somewhere in here, and we're going to get you to where you're catching there. So you really only need to get the bar er, that high. Boom. With momentum, you only need to pull it to here. Boom, boom. Anyway, um, it looks really good. It'll be fun working with you. Um, and I think you'll improve quickly once we get a couple of things figured out for you. I got a couple of drills for you um, that I think are going to help. And I think we'll have a good time.